Hello, we're Arkham's kids, and sorry for the inactiveness. I had hockey and a running club and a 5K. Um, but that's besides the point. Today, we're going to be reviewing Netrunner by Android. The card. Is there a board game on this? There's a couple board games, yeah. Oh, okay. But this happens to be their first entry into the legacy bit, where we'll play it once, we'll rip up cards, things change, and... I don't like to rip up cards. You don't like to rip up cards? No. But we're going to do it. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. You just rip up stuff. I used to be it's... you being so protective about your But games. this, But this here, it tells you, you know, you get to rip up stuff. I'm all for it. So, um, there, you're only allowed to play with a core set. Just the core set and then whatever is included in this box. So, we have to make a crucial choice. Who's going to be the runner? Who's going to play the evil corp? It's your choice, TJ. But no matter what we pick, we're we're in it through the long haul. The corp. You like being sneaky, so you're going to be the corp, huh? Kick them all, boy style. <laughs> okay. You don't get enough. All right, so if you're going to be corp, there's only two factions you can play with. We're also cutting out the scenes where we build our decks. Because that will be boring. You know so we can either be part of HB, which is Sacred Laboratory, and Scorpio's Defense System from Wayland. So the brief history of this one, HB, House Bioroid, uh, they make androids, you know, the greatest and latest technology. So they make artificial intelligence and butlers, the whole nine yards. So servants. This one here, this is all about financial gain. They don't care how they get it. They just want the money. If they have to use the latest credit technology, great. They need to, uh, uh, let's say, be aggressive and shake people down. Then they'll do this too. So these are the two choices you're going to have to pick. So you have to figure out what you want to pick. What happens to that one where you just like we both play as the runners? What happens to that one? Yeah. Oh, it's that one. That's the symbol I'm familiar with. You're gonna be Waylon? Yeah, Waylon. Okay. Because I'm used to it. I have two choices. Uh... Well, he's finding it. Um. If you're new to our channel, please like. I haven't said this in any of my videos. And check out our channel. I'm not saying subscribe because that would be begging. Um, check out our channel and like. That's all I'm saying. Good plug. <laughs> my two choices. Uh, it's either Criminal of Steve Cambridge or Alia Bios Rahim. Isn't, or that, isn't this Alia? Shapers. So I gotta figure out what I want to pick. I'm all about the technology. I'm not criminal side. Eh. Hey. I don't know if I'm gonna dig that. All right, I'm gonna play. I like tinkering and doing stuff. So I'm gonna choose. I'm all about evil. So hang tight, guys. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna put together our decks and we'll play our first game. Then I'll read the story and we'll see how it goes. Story. It's disclaimer alert. Yes, if you don't want to know how this box goes. Don't watch this. Okay, and play it first, not. then come back. Also note, we're not the best Android Netrunner players, so we might get schooled on, you know, the things that are going on there. We just do this socially. We're not tournament by any means. I'm rusty. This just, it, this just affected my itch because it's a legacy-style game, and we want to see how it goes. All right? Oh, so, yeah, like, when are we going to do the legacy game? We'll do that in other videos. So, hang tight, guys. We'll be right back. All right, after building some decks, how we want approach to it like is it. we I didn't splash sleep. anything. So if he was Waylon, all he had access to was Waylon cards neutral. Waylon. At the same time, all I had access cards to, which just from the core set, just like he did, is I'm playing Shapers. So it's all the green cards and the neutrals. I didn't splash anything as well. So we'll go from there. So... The whole bit of the legacy game is is uh, we're both trying to fulfill this campaign goal. So there's a wonderful little story. Let's see story. If you're ready for it, Tej? Yep. The murder. Yay. She was glad the bodies were gone. Even if the smell still lingered, 
investigator Whitney Frank had seen her share of violent crime scenes, but those ragdoll corpses with crushed skulls that had left her shaken. <laughs> Two techs bagged the heavy sledgehammer, while a low hovering cam drone gathered the last minute images. The other officers milled among themselves, sipping yucca bean or swiping away vert after vert of logs. Soon, this would be just another case number in the immense NAPD backlog. Pretty quick mop job, quipped a familiar voice. Bet that really burns you with. In investigator Inez Delgato stepped out of the shadows, her fingers dancing around her illuminated pad, as always. Yeah, too quick, Frank shook her head. Somebody wants this to go away quietly. What are you doing down here? As part of the Cyber Bureau, Delgado rarely left her desk. The city surveillance network served her. I had a hunch, replied Delgado. Local sickham is busted. But I intercepted some vids from another source. The sort that a journal's glee and some corpse and nightmare. Of course she had. Delgado had probably hacked the source herself. The victims were all humans first. Frank explained. The evidence points to them being jumped by someone big, heavily augmented, and really strong. He killed them all with a sledgehammer, exactly <laughs> the same way human first goes about destroying golems. Delgado crossed her arms and looked at the ground. It was a biroid that did this. Frank stared. No way. Biroids can't kill. They've got those directives. The vid all but proves it, Delgado said. Maybe someone wrote a new directive. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, sorry about it's Android and Fantasy Flight games. I just noticed the symbol. Well, Fantasy Flight makes the game. I know, but it's Android. All right, so we built our decks accordingly. Um, there is a stipulation. Core players can only select three fewer cards and six Ooh. fewer agenda points than normally required. The runner also has three fewer cards in his or her deck than normally required. So now we get to take the pad that corresponds to the side we have built the deck for. And the pad, yeah, yeah, kind of like a pad. tablet or an iPad or something like that. So, but this is where we're going to stick our, all of our achievements, maybe our stickers. So there's one for blue. This has nothing on it yet. Me. And corpse, and this is runner's red, so it's going to be off on the side. Then open the secret cards and sticker packs. Take set one cards and sticker sheets and set them aside. And the rest... There's secret packs that says do not open. I want to open. Yeah, so I was like this one here. Do not open. Oh, too late. I did it for the camera. Oh no. Spoilers. I should have said it. So Spoiler. I'm only going to give him pack one. So we'll put that to the side. Oh, that's my... You should have said spoiler. I'll, I'll get it. Dad, you should have said spoiler. I already disclaimed it. There was going to be spoilers. Oh, you did? I did. Well, just in case if you didn't hear us in the, in the beginning... There's going to be spoilers. Well, it's actually not used to us now. So there's do not open. Here's one for the court. So there's your cards. Do not break the rules. Wait, these are stickers? No, nope, those are the cards. You don't get to the stickers yet. Oh. Here comes the stickers. These are stickers? Mm-hmm. They don't look like stickers. Oh, well, this is fun. All right, so I'm the runner, so we're, we're going to read this out loud here. So there's a card with a little story. So this is uh, one. And there's no way. An old friend. The message has been signed Hertz, which is a handle you'd almost forgotten. The last time you heard it was the context of whatever happened to Hertz. Anyone remember, remembered him? So... Probably a hoax, but what the hell, you opened it. Ah. It was definitely him. From calling you loser to a dozen other in-jokes, there was no way the message was faked, and no one else would have the balls to slap a handful of NAPD <laughs> watermark 3Ds from a murder scene into the data stream like that. So here you are, outside of you could be in kiosk, which is the equivalency of like a Starbucks. Death. And the Esmeraldas, and you're about to meet Hearst face to face. The problem is that suddenly a cop walks in, kicks Bang. your foot, and says, Hey, loser, and then sits down next to you. Okay, so short version. The re reason no one's heard from me in years is I'm a cop now. She shows, her, 
she shows you her badge, flashes its ID at your pad. Investigator Inez Delgado. But I need outside help on this one. I've got what it looks like to be a spree killer that no one's investigating. She kicks her foot again to stall your protest. Here's the kicker. Killer's a biroid. Are you in? So I have directions here and how to actually go around this. Before my first game, add all the copies of Investigator Inez Delgado to my deck. So, oh look, there she is. So I gotta put them in my deck. So, they're sleeved. Okay, and that's why they say three fewer cards. TJ's probably gonna have something similar. So we're gonna, I'll read his as soon as I make my choice. I already, ha I already looked at this. So that's gonna go in my deck. Oh wait, I'm still not done. There's still more. What? Yes. Then I pick one. There's like a choose your own adventure, Tej. Yay! Uh, pick one. Uh, one, a cop does not compute. Two, how can I get this thing off the streets and hopefully give court or another black eye? I can choose that one. Or, sounds like you got a real problem on your hands, investigator. And if the money's good, I might even care about it. Okay. Hmm. Can I pick? No, I'm picking. No, oh, I want a black eye. This is this is where this is where things get interesting. So, hmm. I want the cash. Give me the money because I'm a tinkerer. No. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the cash because that sounds awesome. If the money's good, I might even care about it. Uh, but I'm a gooder. I guess it should be a gooder. One, a cop does not compute. Two, how can I help get this thing off the streets and hopefully give some corporate another black guy? All right, I'll take that one. Yes! <laughs> so I read the ounce of prevention and place that sticker in slap G. So, my sticker. Uh, ounce of prevention. This is what I'm going to get. The playbook says the best time to win a battle is before it begins. Preparation is everything. You decide to take your time and start slow. There's no sense in tipping your hand and letting the authorities know that you're chasing this murder. Your secretary, Proxy, agrees. Speaking as the most important resident of your rig, the last thing I want you it want is for you to hit some gray or black ice and get my home scragged and melted. Let's get us some tools to work with. So, this is one of my objectives. So when I get three or more programs installed, I get to get six bucks and then I close the file. So this is getting ripped. It's gonna go in slot G. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Blam. So this is, that's it for that. Let's see what else we got. Read, follow the trail, and place that sticker in the objective slot in your pad. So, I gotta read that one. Why are there so much reading on this? Well, it's a story. That's why. Follow the trail. Uh. So, Delgado gives you meat box details. To coordinate, to coordinate the investigation. Can't have you coming down to the station, she explains. Doubt you want to anyways. She introduced you virtually to Officer Frank, a voluptuous red-headed woman who seems equal parts nervous and exasperated with Delgado's attempt to settle in with the nickname. Your role is simple, Delgado explains. We think one of the corps is trying to cover this up. I would crack everything open myself except surprise. I have no warrant. So that part is up to you. Find out what the corp knows that we don't. Brandon and I, she says. That's not my name, Frank exclaims. Brandon and I will keep working the forensic and I win the single. So, objective slot. I gotta win one game. Why? When complete, Bye. reveal set two. So that's my objective. Doo -doo -doo. And I think I got one more, and then we'll go to TJ's corpse and see what he needs to do. Read, rise up, and place that sticker in D. Uh, you, 
You meet Delgado again in the private chat space members only, which helps reassure you as her true identity. You run to a few old friends there, actually. I can't mix these worlds like this, Delgado explains. I can't be a cop and have to maybe bust you guys someday and also be chummy. But this is too important not to use all the assets I have. So if it comes to it, her avatar shrugs, it might have to be all hands on deck. Gru's army, shouted Sans Sans Seraph. No, says someone else. The gang of N. Nothing else productive happens at that meeting. Slot D. So fight progress, lose one game. And if that's complete, reveal set nine. So I don't want to lose four. You don't want to lose your fourth game? Yeah. Why? That's what it says. You will lose your fourth game. Dun, dun, dun. So there's that. And see anything else of our been all stickered up here. Right. Finally, destroy any remaining cards and stickers in the set and discard this card. Yeah. So there's these two stickers that we'll never, ever, ever see. My. My. Just making sure. Do, 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 do. Ouch. Got oh, I gotta place the Predator Ethos effect on Sunday. Good thing I didn't rip that up already. That would have been horrible. No, <laughs> you would have to get another set to get that. And this goes in slot A. Everything else gets destroyed. Can I destroy it? <laughs> so when the court is, scores an agenda, I gain two bucks. So that's it for me. And... Um, yeah, all these other things. Guess what? What? Rip them in front of the camera. You want me to rip them? Yeah. How else would you destroy them? So horrible. <laughs> oh, I forgot this one too. Here we go. Oh. How else were you going to destroy them? So, <laughs> all right, so let's read TJ's and we'll see what decisions he gets to make for the court, what he has to do. Three dead lie. Who's that, Lou? Three dead. Lou. Images spilling across the air before you are gruesome. Mingled bodies, blood sprayed across the back alley somewhere in Laguna Valesio. Three dead. More images to follow. The last one is familiar to you. You saw it on the news feed a few nights ago. This is Victor Gray, explains Sloan, your new chief of security. You went bigwig on the Interplanetary Affairs Committee. Found dead in his hotel. Drowning. Ruled as an accident. Sloan pauses, reviewing his notes through his brain machine interface. We know it is a homicide. Covered it up for two reasons. One, Homicide. things with Mars are tense enough as it is. Two, the killer is a biroid which is supposed to be impossible because the first directive forbids him from killing or even allowing a human to come to harm. Sloan gestures, and the vert displaced went back to the bloody alleyway murder. It looks like either that the same Bioroy is still out there killing, or there's more than one murder bot on the loose. Sloan folds his arm behind his back and waits. His briefing done. My staff is ready to pursue this at your order. A renegade Bioroy is a disaster for some, and an opportunity for others. One thing is clear, you must find it first. Before your first game, TJ, add all copies of Evidence Collection to your deck. And these are your objectives. That goes in your deck. These are all the same. Yes. They're just going to go in your deck. Because they told you you had to hold three cards out. Okay. What's a choose? Six, six agenda. What's a choose your own adventure? All right. Then you get to pick one. Your choice is I want it found and neutralized with any plausible deniability of any involvement. Or this is a need to know only. I want this rogue Byroid found no matter the cost. Definitely not the cost. Huh? Definitely not the cost one. So you want it, you want it found and neutralized? Yes. Oh, so you're going to read... We're going to read, not today, 
I'm going to place that sticker. This is his choice. Not today. Your first priority is to get the killer off the streets. You can study the anomaly at leisure afterwards. You reprioritize several internal assets, delaying non-critical projects and resetting personnel from overstaffed departments. R&D aren't happy about it, but then, when were they ever? So you're going to stick this in slot G on your uh, pad. Why is everyone sticking it on slot G? That's the startup, buddy. And then you get the protector ethos in slot A. And it's whenever a runner makes an unsuccessful run, you're going to get two bucks. And this goes on slot A. This goes on slot B. Okay. All right. Do I get the rip? Read by the book and place that sticker. In the objective slot on your Wait, hold on. What's this? That's the one you didn't pick. Oh. Huh. The objective by the book. The good news is that the subject is an android, says the principal legal advisor Zhang. We don't need to file any extraordinary rendition paperwork or even admit we have it unless we get subpoenaed. But I still advise caution. You decide to, to follow two parallel strategies. The first is attempt to solve the murder in a traditional way, gathering evidence and liaising with the NAPD. Where appropriate. And the second is to attempt to project the android, the, the bioroids next move and intercept it. Chief Sloan is confident that one of the two approaches will be successful given time. But do you have enough time? You're going to put this in your objective slot. All you got to do is win a game. To win the whole thing? Well, you got to win two games and then you can advance. It's the same thing like me. Okay. So if you win a game, you get to check it off on uh, this box here. So you're going to put this on the objective slot. That's going to be hard for two games in a row. Mm -hmm. It's not in a row. You just got to get two games, period. Oh. Then we're going to read Against All Odds and place that sticker. You really should bring this to the board. You don't pay your secretary to be so fussy. In fact, you don't pay your secretary at all. It's an AI, a computer program that does a reasonable facsimile of a mother hen in the guise of a holographic person. Still, it's got a point. You're devoting a significant portion of the company's resources to what might amount to nothing. But if the board were notified, the directors might get involved. And if they decide to get involved, they might remove you from the project. They might even remove you from your position. Your secretary accepts your decision with the exact same grace and respects you, uh, respects you might expect from your grandmother. Well, let's call it a last resort then. So if you lose four games, then when complete, we'll reveal set nine. And this goes on slot D. D is in dog. Why do we have the same ones? Uh, it's, uh, it's all about the setup. And now, TJ, you may destroy all the other evidence. Rip them! Wait. These are all the other evidence? You just want to look what the other ones do. Before you rip them up. Right. <laughs> I don't really care. Let's see. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to rip them. Um, stickers first. Are they back? No. Yes. Doesn't it feel oddly satisfying destroying something? Yeah. That you just bought? It's just weird. It's like the world's... Oh, the satisfying video. And then, oh gosh. I don't like destroying cards. But we did. Yard, especially this one. I'm going to destroy it. Well, guys, that is the setup towards our, our first legacy game. Are we going to pause? Well, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this and we'll, we'll immediately, I'll, foot, I'll forward it to the next video so we'll actually do game one of our gameplay. Oh, okay. Let's see how it goes. But here we go. So, this is what I got to do. So, I just got to win a game twice, and then I can reveal set two. TJ has to do the same thing. If I lose the game four times, when complete, I reveal set number nine. Same with me. Yep. So, whenever the corpse scores an agenda, I gain two bucks. When it feels like focusing, focus, focus, focus. Focus. 
can't focus. There we go. And then if I install three or more programs installed, I can gain six credits in the closest file. So this is like a one-time use. And there's like a little case closed sticker that would cover that up. TJ's, kind of similar to mine. So when a runner makes an unsuccessful run, he gains two bucks every single time. Uh, if he loses four games in a row, uh, he's going to reveal seven or nine. Which is probably bad. Probably, maybe. All you've got to do is win a couple games. And the first time the runner jacks out of a run, you may choose any number of cards in headquarters and add them to the bottom of R&D. Then draw that many cards. Maybe close the file. And that's a one-time dealio. All right, guys. We'll get game one underway.